hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys for at least coming back to watch my video i want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers you guys are the best so please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe press the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video like and share this video in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this lovely gathers gown with dodge fabric so this is the fabric i'll be using so let's get started so i'll be working with our measurement our shoulders for my shoulder to our under bust is 16 inches. If you add 3 inches to 16 inches, I will have 19 inches. So from our shoulder to our, our waistline, I'll be using 19 inches. And the full length of the gown, the full length of the, the full length of the dress is 64 inches. So the upper part of the dress is 19 inches. When, so when you minus 19 inches from 64 inches, I will have 45 inches. And the, full, and the length of this George fabric is 42 inches, so it's not up to 45. So what I'll be doing, I'll be adding extra, I'll be adding three inches band to the dress to complete the length. So that means after cutting out the upper part, which is from the shoulder to the waist, I'll be, I'll be placing a band before I attach the gathers to it. So the first thing I'll be doing now is to cut out the upper part of the dress. So this is my lining. I'll be using the lining. So after cutting that, I'll use it to cut out the main fabric. So this is my zipper line, as you can see. So the first thing I'll be taking is a shoulder measurement. A shoulder measurement is 19. 19 divided by 2. I have 9.5. You know it's a sleeveless dress, so I'll not be adding any extra inches. So I'll be, I'll be taking out the 9.5 here. Then for the neckline, I'll, I'll measure out... 3 inches. For the neck, I'll measure 3 inches. Then on this part, I'll measure down 1 inch. So I'll connect the line just to slope the shoulder line. So I'll be sloping the shoulder line. Then the next thing is to take our arm skype, which is, I'll be using 7 inches. You can divide your bust, you can also use the different method. Divide your bust measurement by 6 plus 1.5 or 1 inches. But I'll be using 7 inches. So I'll connect it down. So I will take down the horizontal measurement. Our bust point is 12. Our under bust is 16. Then the waist measurement, when you add when you add three, when you add three inches to sixteen, I have nineteen. So I'll be adding half an inch to sew it to the. I'll be adding half an inch to sew it down. So what I have here is twenty. So I'll just leave the twenty inches. Then I'll connect. I'll draw the lines. So now we are going to be determining the dart placement. Our boss, our nipple to nipple measurement is nine inches. When you divide it by two, I have four point five. So I'll be adding half an inch to it to make it five. So I'll just measure down 5 inches. All the way down. So I'll measure down 5 inches all the way down. Then I'll rule it. I'll rule the lines. So on my waistline, I'll be taking out 1, one, one inches. You can use half inches, but I'll be using 1 inches. So I'll just take 1 inches on this part and one inch on this part. So I'll be using my normal regular dart. Then on this, my bust line, on this bust line, I will come down by one inch. Then I'll connect the lines. So the next thing I'll be doing, I'll be placing the horizontal measurement. Our bust measurement is 45. When you divide it by four, I have 11.25. So I'll place it here, 11.25. Then I'll be adding one, 1 1.5 inches for the sewing allowance. So around on that bus is 39. 39, when you divide it by 4, I have 9.2, 9.75. So I have it. Just divide, don't fold your tape into two. Just fold your tape into four. You get your measurement. So the one inch I have here plus the 1.5, I'll be adding 2.5. So our waist measurement is 43. When you divide it by 4, this is what I have. I'll place it here on this part. 
So this two inches plus the 1.5, I'll be adding 3.5. So this is my 3.5. So I'll connect the lines. So I'll come to my ham or get the midpoint, which is 3.5. Then I'll go in by half an inch on this part. Come out by one inch here. Then I'll connect the lines. And for the neckline, I'm going to be cutting out, I'll, I'll be cutting out a sweetheart neckline. For the neckline, I'll use, I'll measure out four inches. I'll measure out four inches. This is my four inches. Where I want my neckline to stop, I'll be measuring out 7.5. So this is my 7.5. So I'll just rule it down. My line. So I'll measure down 4 inches from this point. So this is my 4 inches. Then I'll come out by half an inch on this part. So I'll connect the lines. I'll connect it like this. Then I'll connect it to that point. Then I'll connect it to this point. So I'll be connecting it from this line, not this line. So if not this line, from this point, I'll be connecting it from this, my 4 inches to my 4.5, from here to this point. Then I'll measure out my, my half an inch for the shoulder joining. So this is my half an inch for the shoulder joining. Then I'll be cutting out. For the back ham O, you don't need to come out by half an inch. We'll just connect it direct from this point, from here to this point for the back ham O. You don't need to go in by half an inch. So this is the neckline, as you can see. Then I'll work on the back. Then from the back neckline, I'll measure at my four inches for the back. So at this point, you can use any neckline. So let me just measure down 2.5. Then I'll just connect it round. So this, this, this will be my back neckline. Then let me impute my that. So let me. From the shoulder, I'll measure down nine inches. So this is where my, this is where my dart will stop. So I'll just connect it up. Then I'll be taking half an inch, not one inch. Half an inch on both sides. Then I'll connect it to meet this line for the back. So to balance up the front and you remember the front and the back, they are not equal. So on this part, I'll measure down one inch. I'll measure out one inch on this part. Then I'll connect it to meet this line. So I'll be, this part, I'll be cutting it off. Then to avoid bulge when I fix the zip, I'll come in by half an inch on this part. Half an inch. Then I'll connect it like this. So I have to reconnect my zipper line. As you can see, it's no longer on this line, but this other line. And I'll quickly just take my measurement. So I'll cut this part open. So this is what I have. So I'll be placing it on the main fabric to cut it out. So this part, so this part of the George, as you can see, 
I will trim it out like this. You can see? I will trim it out like this. I will go my paper stay. You can either trim it out like this, or you go your paper stay or your hair stay at the back of it. Then I will use my scissors to trim it out. So you can see this part I've trimmed out. As you can see, I only trim the edge of the I only trim the edge of the judge. I did not trim the inner part because that's what I'm still going to be placing. I'm still going to be placing it on top of the fabric. So there's no need of trimming this. There's no need of trimming the inner part. So I only focus on trimming the edge, as you can see. So this other part, I will cut it out. I will also cut out this particular design. I'll be putting it on the neckline. So this is what I'll be cutting out. So this, this is the fabric I'll be using to form the gathers for the gown. So our waist measurement is 43 inches. So I, I measured that 43 inches in, in three places. I measured that 43 inches in three places. That means I times our waist measurement into three. So that's what I'll be using to form the gathers. So this part will be the, the part I'll be forming the gathers. Why this part will be the bottom why this part will be at the bottom. As you can see, it has this beautiful design. So I'll be going to my sewing machine. I'll run my gather stitch on this part. Then I'll draw my gathers on this particular fabric. So I'm done cutting it out, as you can see. I've cut out the fabric. So the next thing we are going to do now is to join the dart. So I'll be sewing my dart, both for the lining and on my fabric. So I'll take it to my sewing machine. Measure one inch, then I'll sew it down. Do the same thing for the lining and also for the back. So now I'll be cutting the bag. I'll measure out six inches. Six inches by, that is 43 inches plus the zipper allowance. So I'll be cutting out the band. I'll be cutting out six inches because I'll be folding it. I'll be folding it like this into two to sew. So I'll measure out six inches by a waist measurement plus a zipper measurement. So I'm done sewing the dart, as you can see. This is the front and this is the back. I'll place my tailor's ham like this. Then place the front. Then place the front like this. Check if there's any excess at the back. So if you want to know if the, the back will be longer than the front, just do it like this. When you do it like this, if the back is longer, you will see it on this side or on this other side. So as you can see, it's equal. So I'll just trim out this, this excess out. So the next thing I'll be doing, I'll be placing this design on the neckline. So this is the cutout from the, so this is the cutout from the judge, as you can see. I got my ST at the back. I used my scissors to trim it. I used my scissors to trim the edge, as you can see. So now we'll be placing it on the neckline. So I'll arrange it. I'll just arrange it any, I'll just arrange it the way I want it to be, like this. Then I'll take this other part, then I'll place it like this, and also like this. I'll use my pin to pin it down. I'll pin it down, then I'll take it to my sewing machine, then I'll sew it. This particular neckline, I will not be sewing it down. I will, I will just sew part of it like this. I will just sew part of it like this. Then this neckline, I will not sew it. I will use my lining first of all to turn the neckline. After turning the neckline, I will not place this part like this. Then use my hand needle to just to stitch it down. Sew it round like this, following the shape of the trim is I'll sew it round. You can use your USU glue or your E9, any glue you want to use, you can use your glue if you don't want to sew. But I will be sewing. So I'll pin it down, take it to my sewing machine, then I'll just sew it round like this. I'll sew it round. Please take note, when you are sewing the boss, remember this is the boss part. So when you are sewing it, be careful so that you won't make a mess on that part. So I'm done stitching the applique to it, as you can see. You can see the neckline. I did not stitch this part. 
You can see this part, I did not stitch it. After joining the shoulder, after joining the neckline, I will just tack it down. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to be taking our final measurement. You place your tailor's arm like this. You place your tailor's arm like this, then you take your final measurement. You take your boss measurement, take your under boss and the waist. After that, we are going to join. So I'll be joining the, the, the front and the back together. So this is the back. I'll place it like this. I'll place it like this. Then I'll sew. And also sew to the back. So as you can see, I'm done sewing the neckline. So the next thing we are going to be sewing now is the arm O. So I'm, I'll be sewing it like this from this point. I'll be sewing it like I'll be sewing it like this from this point to this side. Then I'll do the same thing. I'll do the same thing for the other side. From this front part, you pass your hand through this part. You pass your hand through this arm O side, as you can see. Then we are going to bring it out from this part. This side. Then we we'll drag it out. So as you can see, I've turned it inside out. So the next thing I will do now, I will take it to my ironing table. I will give it a very nice press. Then I will be joining the lining to lining and fabric to fabric. So I will place it like this. I will sew the fabric down like this. Then I also sew the lining from this point down. Then from here to this other side. So as you can see, I'm done sewing and I've ironed it down. So the next thing we are going to do is to attach our band. So I will attach my band like this, from this point, all the way down, to be like this. So as you can see, I've done sewing the band to the upper part of the dress. So I'll be attaching the, you can see I've already gathered the skirt. So to draw your gathers, you take it to your sewing machine, use the loose, the loose stitch of your sewing machine, then sew it twice. Set your, set your machine to the loose stitch. Then sew it twice. Then after that, start drawing it like this. You can see? This is how you draw it. You start moving it like this. That's how you form your gathers. So I'll be sewing it like this on this part. Ensure that what you have here is the same measurement of your waist. Ensure that what you have here is the same measurement with the band. That means it's the same weather. That means it's the same measurement with the waist. So I'll be sewing it like this. I'll place this upper part on it. I'll place this upper part. I'll place this upper part on it like this. Then I'll sew it all the way down. So as you can see, I'm done attaching it to the band. So I'll, I've also fixed the zip, as you can see. So I'll take it to my ironing board and give it a very nice press. Then you can see this part. I'll be using my needle and thread to just to stick it down like this. As you can see, this is the final look of the dress. This dress is not for me, it's for a client. So I decided to place it on the mannequin for you guys to see the final look of the dress. So if you have learned one or two things from this tutorial, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.